Great Britain chasing a third gold medal in Tokyo 2020. Tom Dean a little bit off his pace, 145.7. It's not the best of starts for Great Britain. They won't mind. There's talent across the quartet, and it does take four to win the medals. James Guy now in for Great Britain. Great experience in James Guy. He's an individual world champion in his own right from 2017. And here he comes in to do the job for the really as he has done so often over the last six, seven years. So coming in for the changeover for the third swimmer, James Guy. Change in lead here. Very quick on the changeover from Great Britain. Very quick. Matthew Richards into the water. And Australia are sitting in fourth. The Russian Olympic Committee team got into the wall on third on that changeover. And the USA has Zach Apple in the water. A procession for Duncan Scott and left the wall. He could right at his fingertips. In the closing stages, the battle behind him is between Australia and the Russian Olympic Committee. Great Britain strike goal, 6.58.58. Three one hundredths of a second, they missed the world record by. They win the gold though. What a swim to Great Britain. <laughs> Jimmy Guy is in tears, he can barely contain the emotion. What a day for Great Britain, it's the third gold medal for the British team. So two men, two women, they can swim them in any order they like. And I hope that's not Kathleen, is yeah, it? Yeah, she slipped on the wall, I think. Kathleen Dawson in the red oh. cap, not a great start. I think she slipped on the wall, which is not good. Look at that now, four or five metres down. That's not going to help. The halfway mark, it's going to be so tight down this uh, second half. Italy lead, China second, Russia third. Great leg there from uh, Adam Peaty. James Guy in now, a tight takeover, but I think it was good. No, absolutely brilliant. So the, the medals might not go to the three that are in the lead at the moment, just to be clear on this halfway. And Hopkins is about six seconds. So James Guy now has to try and catch up the rest of the field and get a big lead from the Americans. Well, this is really interesting. We need a lead here, I think. It'll be very good if we can. We need certainly about a second lead over the Australians in the yellow hats. Anna Hopkins, what a great opportunity here for Great Britain. Great Britain lead with 100 metres to go. China second, Italy third, and now the charge is going to come. And Anna Hopkins is going to bring Great Britain home to gold, I think. She's got about 10 metres to go, and Great Britain are going to win their fourth gold in the swimming pool. It's the mixed medley relay. Great Britain win gold by miles. The silver to the Chinese, the bronze to Australia, and I think it's a new world record. It is a new world record for Great Britain. First arrives is Ryloff, the newly crowned Olympic champion. What kind of response will we see from Brian Murphy finishing third in the individual? Murphy up in lane number one for the Americans and going strongly. Chief from China has a history first of 25 metres. So it's actually shooting to lead it around and he's about a quarter of a body length in front. So Great Britain in the lead now, handing over to James Guy. Petey needed to give James Guy as much of a lead as he possibly could because Dressel is going to absolutely fly across in lane number one. But James Guy is one of the best relay swimmers I've ever seen. He will give it everything or he'll die trying. And James Guy still in front then of the Italians. Paradiso uh, in for Italy, they're in third place. But it's now Great Britain against the United States. James Guy doing everything he can against the flying Caleb Dressel. Dressel took 0.6 off him in the first 50 metres and Dressel is now going to lead it around for the USA from lane number one. Zach Apple in the water for the USA. In the water for Great Britain is Duncan Scott. 15 metres to go. The Americans still have the advantage on the charge for Great Britain. This is going to be close in the closing stages. America win gold. Great Britain for the silver. And in the cold battle for bronze, Italy. Hang on, it is a world record. Fraser Holmes of Australia and 
Up at the top there, that's Hagino. Well, the minor medals, silver and bronze, there is a race on. Great Britain has really started to move through the ranks. Thanks to Dan Wallace, it was a great performance. Daniel Smith for Australia at the moment has them in third. Japan doing very well still, cementing the second place. And then in lane number three, the Russian Federation, Phelps is in the water. Phelps goes, Matsuda goes, Horton goes, Guy. Japan and Great Britain and Australia. Japan and Great Britain for the silver. Here it goes, four by 200, the USA do it again. Great Britain second, Japan third. Phelps, Lochte, Haas and Dwyer have brought home the United States for a gold medal. Big responsibility for Great Britain's Chris Walker Heaven leading off Team Great Britain because he's against an enormously fast guy. Ryan Murphy of the USA in five is going to try and break the world record here, I'm sure, and he's gone off like a shot in the black hat in the centre. Britain in sixth position, but it's close. And now we've got our individual gold medalist, our brilliant gold medalist. It is Adam Peaty on the breaststroke leg. Well, he's going to go in with Michael Phelps, isn't he? Well, this is very interesting. I have to say, Great Britain, I think on paper, needed to be about 0.8 of a second ahead. They're about 0.2, or what is it, 0.6 of a second ahead. <laughs> now, would you like to be doing the fly, James Guy, against Michael Phelps? It's James Guy in the red hat on the far side against Michael Phelps in the black hat. And at the moment, still, James Guy is leading down this first length, but Phelps always comes back very, very quick on the second 50 metres. Great Britain leading, second USA, but also going very well is China up in lane number two, and they've got the world champion on their final leg. Silver medal at the moment, China are coming through, and they've got Zetao Ning, a brilliant freestyle on the back end. Phelps is just going to edge it, I think, at the end here. So it's going to be Team USA, and it's going to be Michael Phelps' 24th gold medal. Look at this, absolutely extraordinary. USA win gold, Great Britain win the silver. And that means it is Great Britain's best ever Olympic Games in the swimming pool with six medals.